Good morning, YouTube. It's a wonderful day today, and it's Frank and Chicken Move Day. The turkeys are not pleased about all this commotion, and the Frank and Chickens are wondering, hey man, how come we haven't been fed? The food is in the Chick Mahal, which is way that way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick them up, and I'm going to put them in this crate on the tractor here, ten at a time, and then roll them down there. I'll let you watch. Now the lid on the crate is because they think they can fly or jump or whatever. But I'll get you set up and I'll load up ten, and then I'll take you down for the unloading. What's going on, huh? Something's going on. Yeah, I'm taking the stinkiness out of your life. <clears throat> Him. Because they're all hungry, they're all bunched up in this corner where the feeder is. Makes it very easy for me. One. Two. Three. This one wanted to peck me. Four. Five. Ten. So it's just full enough in that crate that they're lending each other support because the train between here and the <clears throat> Chick Mahal is a bit rough and downhill. All right, let's get them down there. So these two feeders on the floor here are each a foot longer than the one they had in their brooder. So I have more than doubled their food opportunity. Hello chickens. Welcome to your new 
new home. There's food here, it's nice. Everybody made it. You can see by the angle of the strings how much of a slope that I'm on. These should be hanging perpendicular with the door. Instead, they're off at about a 25 degree angle. The chickens don't seem to care, but it's kind of crowding their water. It'll only be crowding their water in one direction, and then I'll turn them around and head them back the other way. By letting them free float like that, it doesn't really matter if the chicken wants water, it's just going to bump it out of the way anyway. That's fine. YouTube. It's been a long bloody day. But it's my fault. I'm showing you all this stuff that I do in a day while homesteading. Not to discourage you. Just to make sure that your your eyes are open to how much crap there is to do. Especially in the spring. Oh my gosh. My elbow got hurt. And so it kind of set me back a couple weeks, and now I'm trying to catch up, so I'm running around like crazy. But uh, I want to show you something. See this log right here? It's five feet long. It was in the ground all the way right there when the tree, the 95-foot tree fell. It drove that branch all the way in the ground. Now, I did that to a lot of them, <clears throat> and I could pull them out with the tractor. I could not pull that one out. I had a bust out a shovel. Can you believe it? A shovel. Oh my God. So what else did I do today? Well, first of all, the first time we talked to you was about 8.30. Now it's quarter to seven. I stopped for lunch. I think maybe 30 minutes. So the chickens were right there by that can. Now they're over here. You saw me already move the the uh, chick mall down but what I did after that as the crazed lunatic that I am is I took my old chicken tractor I will put the little clip of it right here and I converted it into the Turk Mahal now you can see Going up the side there and up the side here. Those were the old, that was the old lid that intersected in the middle. What I do is I just cut that one top bar and put in the door frame. I, and then I screwed the, I unhinged the doors and then screwed them in and then chicken wired the crud out of it and put a roof on it. And then I drug it all the way down here just to realize that if I put the front of the chick of the chick mahal and the turk mahal at the same place that I can't get in. But the turkeys don't actually need me to get in there very often. They just need water. So it's a minor problem. Now if I built it from scratch, of course, the door would be in the front. But only because I retrofitted that did the door end up in the side because I didn't want to rebuild the blah, 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 blah. But you can hear the turkeys are ecstatic being out here. The um, Franken chickens are, yeah, they're Franken chickens. They have completely matted down or ate all of the grass that was here when we got here this morning. They're starving. They've drank five gallons of water. They're being Franken chickens. It's what they do. This is why they're here. So tomorrow morning... Oh, wait. So the reason... The reason I went through all this effort today, and I, I really put it in to get that Turk Mahal out there, is Canadian geese going to fly on my shoulder. Boom, right there. Um, I'm taking tomorrow off. I'm going to take a day off and not do anything. Which means... I'm going to feed the chickens, feed the chickens, feed the turkeys. 
twice. But other than that, nada. So there won't be a video because that's boring. Oh my gosh. So I will see you all in two days. Behave yourselves and think about homesteading. Enjoy.